I'm Kim Sauer, SMT AI in Chicago, and uh, we're doing a panel discussion today about women in the electronics manufacturing industry. And I've got a great panel um, with me today, starting off with Claire Saunders, um, Michelle Ogihara, and Sherry Stepp. Welcome. Um, let's get straight into it. Now, I've been walking around the show floor here, and what immediately is apparent is that predominantly this is a male um, industry. But really what I want to find out is from your experiences, um, actually, has, have things changed? Are, are things changing and are things going in the right direction? And is there in fact a problem? When I first started in this industry 20 years ago, um, it, is, it is truly a male dominant field. Um, but over the years, I've seen where my company personally has promoted women within, within encouraged them in, in chemistry and engineering and the different um, aspects of our industry, as well as promoting to um, higher levels of management and, and that. But it, we're still a very underrepresented group. When, but you have a lot of very smart and very dynamic women um, that have been brought along, I would, I would hope, uh, to, to help other women to bring them along and mentor them and, and increase our numbers. Yes. I, would, I would agree with Sherry that um, over 20 years ago on the NEPCON floor, I mean, you probably saw one, you know, one out of 20. And now I would say there's at least a good 20 to 30 percent. Now is that anywhere where we should be? Um, not yet, but it's getting there. And and I think it's it's also not on the entry level of women, you know, um, being hired and um, and as engineers, as sales. I, I think you see predominantly that actually it brings that added, uh, you know, new um, aspect to. Uh, uh, an industry that is really requiring more growth. So I, I think we add something special uh, and therefore uh, I th really where the challenge is, I think is going uh, into the upper echelons of, of, of management, uh, directorship, and, and the top levels of companies. And, and that's where perhaps our challenge is at this point. Claire, I'm going to ask you a specific question about that. Do, you, do are we actually do we need to step a, a way back and look at is there even interest or is interest being encouraged um, for females to enter in this industry, or is it just a subject that um, isn't really being encouraged for women to get into? So, um, you know, really, is it is it we have to do a lot more to encourage people at maybe schooling age to get interested in these areas of business? Absolutely. I think the thing is here, um, you mentioned walking around, there's not a lot of women walking around. There's also a lack of something else, and that's young people. So male or female, there's a lack of young people in this industry. So it's going in at school level and encouraging people to say, this industry is sexy, there is something good, there's an opportunity here for you to have a career to have a future and to make a difference to the future. You know, the next iPhone that you're waiting for, you know, whatever you've got looking in your hand the whole time where you can't talk to your family because you're always staring at a screen. We do this stuff. So you guys could be involved. You guys could be the future. So it's not just about a bunch of people, you know, in a production line. It's about creating new products and services. And that's what we have to educate the kids about to, to tell them that it's this, this is something really exciting to be involved with don't go into IT don't just go to another place to stare at another screen do something that makes a difference so do you find it's a fun industry to be in because I, I know when I first got involved with industry I thought gosh you know it's manufacturing it's machines it's pretty dry <laughs> but actually now I'm in it and I have been for, for over 10 years I know actually it's it's quite fun. Certainly the people in it are fun. Do you, do you have the same experience? The people are amazing. They make the industry. I think engineers, geeks are the bomb. <laughs> I mean, they're so incredibly intelligent, smart, funny. Um, I found my first entrance into, into this industry really interesting because as you say, um, look at me. Do I look like I like working on machines? Not, not really. But it's the people. 
And um, you know, I work for a Japanese-based uh, company. So, uh, and now in the uh, senior management level within my company. And I think that I really have to give um, you know, credit to my expatriate uh, Japanese um, executives who came over, didn't know what to expect, didn't know how a Japanese American female, um, who I was hired as a, as a receptionist and as assistant level. And um, I think they recognized from, from my cold calling somewhat skills that if I could convince these folks to take on Nihon Alma Sauter, um, that you know, there, there might be something to it. So they placed me in, in a, a semi-competition with another colleague, a male colleague of mine, and we took territories. Um, we had you know, our competitive products, and um, you know, a, a year later, and with, with that growth, um, and uh, you know, I, I don't want to say I, I wiped the floor with, with him, but um, let, let's, sure. yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, all right, so maybe I did it, okay? <laughs> And, and so I, I just, you know, I think for, for, for us to have, uh, for, as females, to really have that insight and that confidence and realize our own capabilities. And because we're thinking we're a, we're a mother, you know, uh, we're a wife, we have outside interests and we're thinking of how to balance all of that. And, you know, I, I think, you know, traditionally maybe men are very focused on their jobs and they want to excel and they want to just go for it. And we take upon, we take everything to consideration before we take that next step and take on more responsibility and, and want to be aggressive. So, um, you know, I just, uh, my experience and I'm sure, Sherry? Yeah. It was really to, to talk about your experiences and, um, and, and the people that you met and your the perception, industry. the perception of the industry as as you entered into a, a quite unsexy industry? I came out of the travel industry several years as a, um, a travel agent, a travel manager. Um, so it was a big shock when, when I came to work for, for a technical company and the, my first trade show, walking around in awe of, of all of the high-tech technology and all the smart people that you come in contact with constantly um, within our company, within the industry. And so to, to think, you know, your, your first conception, like uh, Michelle said, is it's gonna be a bunch of geeks. How fun could this be? It's major fun. <laughs> Everybody's very personable, and they're, and, but the amount you can learn just by speaking to someone and the technology you get to see grow and emerge that's the exciting part, like Claire said about the iPhone. You know, you got an iPhone in your hand. What was that 20 years ago? There wasn't one. There was a bag phone <laughs> that you carried around like a purse. And then now we've got many computers that sit in our hands that keep our children completely numb and entertained. But <laughs> as, as, and as a mother and as a woman in the industry, you have to curtail that. But, um, but just the, the advancement of the technology, how could it not be exciting? But I think we have a responsibility as women in the industry to communicate that to the, the, the children, the young women and men coming up, and men coming up, because like Claire said, I mean, you look around, not only is it a little lopsided on the women to men ratio, but the, our industry is aging and bringing, bringing in new engineers and, and young ideas and young people into our industry is a challenge. Okay, so are we doing enough there? Are we doing anything at the moment to encourage um, the, the youngsters to join this industry? Um, what are we doing as companies to encourage uh, the, the, the youngsters to join? Are there initiatives that you are aware of within your companies or um, you know, as an industry that we're as, We're a, doing this. as an industry, I'll, I'll start if you don't mind. Um, as an industry, um, or as a company, we have um, a, a, a program where we hire, uh, not apprentices, we, 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 go, we, go, we do job fairs. We go to the local colleges and, and things like that to recruit people and um, interns. We, have, we, we bring in interns and they actually get to make a paycheck 
you know, usually you think of an internship as I'm working for free, but we actually pay them and um, immerse them into the technology and, and show them the opportunities. And I think as an industry <clears throat> or as an association, the SMTA reaches out via the Young, um, young Professionals Program. Young professionals program um, and they have chapters inside uh, the universities and things like that. So I think there's a lot of encouragement, um, but there, we could always do more. I think we do need to do more. Uh, I think that the, you know, as a whole, as an industry, we need to build awareness that this is even happening. Uh, look at what's happening with Google and some of the startups, the, the women facing discrimination. I think a lot of that has come and transpired and out in the open now. And I think a lot of us were surprised that that was existing. It's a case by case, but it's more than it should be in this day and age. And it starts with awareness through, the, through these kinds of discussions, through the media, um, and through the SMTA, uh, we've had this Women's Network uh, Leadership Connection program for the last eight years. It started out with a wine and cheese, and it engaged you know, all, all the women uh, to get together and to have a discussion. So we started out with a huge panel discussion of the 20, 30 women together, and we just shared our experiences. Whether they were good, whether they were bad, uh, we uh, invited mentors such as Dr. Turbini, Jenny Huang, uh, Marie Cole, Susan Musha, uh, all of these wonderful women in technology, leaders in, in our association. And I, I think it just starts from there. It starts from we individually having uh, to be able to support each other as women and as men supporting women and creating the you know, atmosphere that uh, we're going to move forward. And we need to have a 50-50. The most dynamic and most successful organizations are those that have both the, the female and the male perspectives. I mean, it's undeniable. Um, and so we need to work a little bit harder, I think, in our industry. It's, um, I, I believe that in the last 20 plus years, there's been huge change. Um, there's still a long way to go, but there's a lot of things that are happening. There are lots of associations. I'm also involved in an association flights, which is based out of Europe, um, and we promote women in tech. There's lots more going on than there ever has been before, but there's still a long way to go. Um, you mentioned earlier on about how, as a woman, we've got lots of other things that we have to think about. You know, we've got the house, we've got the husband, the kids. So the man relies on us for a hell of a lot of stuff. So switch that around and say, in the, in the workplace, Let's work together because we look at things in a different way. So, you know, we approach things in a different way. We can work in a partnership. Um, and there's, I believe there's great opportunities. Um, there's still massive issues. There's still the pay, pay grade thing that's going on. So there's still things that need to be changed. But I believe it is going in the right direction. And, you know, it's not a bunch of women sitting here bitching about men. It's, that's, well, sometimes. But that's not the key thing. <laughs> we do that a lot, though. <laughs> um, but there's a lot of other things that we, you know, the, the other reasons that we're here, and that is just to, to build the awareness. The world's changing around us, absolutely. And I was, I was invited to join the um, drinks reception after the, um, I can't remember it's what the, the, the women's, the, the women's panel, leadership yeah. conference yesterday. Um, and one of the things that struck me was that it's, yes, it's about encouraging women to be um, active and, and successful within the industry, but it's, it's also being a community where men in it are involved. So yes. if it, it's about support, it's about mentorship. And if it happens to be a man that mentors a, a woman, then that's fine. It's not about exclusively being just about women. And I think generally, if we look at the industry and the world today, that's what it's about. It's about treating everybody on equal terms. Um, Thank you very much for joining in the discussion today. We've run out of time, but um, great input. Um, and I wish you the best of success in your um, careers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you very Thank you. much.